Hi everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you're all having a good one. My kids went back to school on Wednesday. So to me, I feel like, what? It's already Friday? No way. I want them to have two more days of school because I've got two more days of work at least this week. So I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. Let me look and see if I can adjust my video just a tad. I hate when it's crooked. Oh, now it's going to be a little shaky. All right. No, nope, that was the wrong way, wasn't it? Let's see. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for people to join, let me just adjust. I cannot stand when I see it replay and it's all to the side. Hi, Christine. Happy Friday to you. Hi, Gina. Welcome. Hi, you guys. So, thank you so much for watching today. I've got real, three really cute projects for you, um, all from the new catalog, of course. Um, a little bit of celebration, a little bit of Valentine's, a little bit of Cajun's catalog. We've got lots of things. So, um, let me go over what I do every week on Fridays at 2 o'clock Central, most Fridays. Hi, ladies. Hi, Debbie, Lisa, Pam. Hi, Gina. Um, I am trying to do Facebook Friday every Friday at 2 o'clock, and I'm trying to do three projects each time, and um, bearing any children being homesick or, you know, school activities, I'm going to try to really stick to that schedule. Um, today's make and takes, all three of them, you can get them free if you put in an online order by Monday night. Here's this month's hostess code. Um, and you don't need to email me or anything. I will just pull up the, the order and see everyone who's used that hostess code on Tuesday morning. And that's who I make uh, make and takes for. I cut on Tuesday mornings. That's the first thing I do. So make sure that your order is in um, by the time I wake up on Tuesday. Um, and if you hop over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, the post is scheduled to go up at the same time I do this. And I have this PDF for you over there. All three projects dimensions here there's also a link I'm going to show you how to make this calendar and there's a link here where you can buy the cute little calendars uh, measurements at the bottom and then um, also it'll it'll tell you here if you forget what that hostess code is it's here on the paper as well there's um three little blurbs there on the bottom page these are my two classes I have for January that you can get in your mailbox and a little blurb about joining my team celebration you know is the best time to to buy the starter kit you get two extra stamp sets in your kit um, of your choice whatever you want them to be and then you get to get your 20 percent discount and you get all my pdfs for free and my classes at a really deep discount so let me know if you have any questions about that there's a link on there um this one right here that you can go and read some more information about it all right i think we're ready to start we've got a you people with us. Hi, Kara. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Sue. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for joining me, you guys. All right, so the occasions and the celebration catalog. I hope you guys have them. I hope that your pages are as worn as mine. I keep looking through it and looking through it. Um, they're wonderful. Remember that when you, during celebration, which is now through the end of March, when you spend uh, $50, you get to pick something from the catalog. And if you spend $100, there are two things in here that are free with a $100 purchase. These two right here, the stamp set and these um, thinlets. Now, if you spend $100 and you want to get two of the other $50 items, you can do that as well. So don't forget that's there. So you probably will want to bump all your orders to $50 during January, February, and March. Um, I'm doing a giveaway um, this week. I always do a giveaway, and this one is a hostess set. This is the new hostess set from the Occasions catalog called Yay You. It's really cute, and I've had a hard time not using it myself, but I knew I wanted to give it to you guys. So at some point today, hop over to my blog. There's um, a little widget at the bottom of the post that is called a raffle copter, and you enter your information. You have to be in the United States to win. Anybody in the United States can win. I don't care if you're a demo, somebody else's customer, whatever. I don't care. I'm giving this away um, to anybody just as a thanks for reading my blog and, and uh, checking me out on Facebook. So you just fill that out, and I will announce the winner next Friday on Facebook Friday. Okay, well let's get started. Let's see if I can arrange my tablet so I can see you guys. 
So these, I make these little desktop calendars every year um, to send in my catalogs. And this year, it was crazy how many I had to make. My friend Anne-Marie, my downline, um, I don't know if she's on here, she actually helped me. We had to make almost 300 of these um, just to get them in the catalogs before they ship, right in the middle of Christmas. So it was really hard this year. And I kept saying, I'm not going to do this again. This is just too much. But I do really love making them. And um, you guys seem to really like them. And I get tons of questions. Please show us how to make these. It's really, really simple. But I'm going to show you. Um, this is my probably my favorite one that I did. And if you'll notice in the picture, this is the picture of, of the one that that we made to go out and it has the new lemon lime twist no is that what it's called not twist lemon yeah lemon lime twist mini striped ribbon that is a mouthful it has that ribbon but i am out of that ribbon it's supposed to arrive the ups man usually shows up when i'm doing facebook live um so it'll be on my porch when i'm done but um i had to use my ombre ribbon um this time it's the same color and it works just fine um here are a couple other examples i'm using the tutti frutti um suite of products it's just uh, really really fun uh, lots of bright colors so I've been using a lot here's another version of the one that I did and this is the one I put up for myself this year I love those little pineapples here's a swap card that I made with the strawberries I love that navy and red that's super cute and then here are some tags that we made at on stage I think we had a third one I don't know what happened to it um here's that ribbon I was telling you about that I've run out of it's just really really good ribbon so these little tiny fruits, as you can see on the stamp set, there you kind of build your fruits, you know, depending on what colors you want. There's a basket and a bowl. Um, but the best part, and I think what's really going to make this set super popular, is that there are four coordinating punches. A little strawberry, pear, pineapple, and watermelon. And I think all of us love punches. I really think we all do. Um, I love framelits, don't get me wrong, but I really love to just be able to reach up and grab a punch um, and not have to get up and get everything out and find the framelit and all that. I don't know. I just, I love punches. So, and from what I hear from you guys, you love them too. Okay. And then the, like I said, my favorite part of this suite is the paper. It's bright and cheery. And I, I am a bright girl for sure. The Brights color family is definitely my favorite. So this one has lots of brights in here. Let me flip through here so you can see. Um, there's the yellow and then it's got bananas on the back. That's very cute. Then this is a, I think, Calypso coral with some dots. And then black and white, my favorite. But then on the back, my husband and I were kind of arguing about this the other day. What kind of fruit is this, you guys? Is it a, a mango, a guava? I'm not sure, but I don't know. I think I'll probably be using the black and white side. But maybe, I don't know, maybe where you live you have those fruits. I, I, I don't know what that is, or we don't eat them. <laughs> Peekaboo peach um, with the citrus. That reminds me of the stamp set we used to have. So, so cute. This is um, rich razzleberry with fruit on it. And this is the, the side, this reminded me of back to school, the apples and the pears. Lemon lime twist, we're gonna use that on our on our calendar today. Then there's a stripe. There's a neutral stripe. There's those cute pineapples. Um, that'll be good for summer. This is what I used on my panda card that you guys probably saw a couple of days ago. I thought that looked like bamboo. So I used that with the cute little panda from the Party Pandas. And this is the other pattern we're using today. Those are actually raspberries, I think. And that's a good pattern. I love just a good small pattern. Black and white stripe. I'm gonna be hoarding this little piece here. I love it. Kiwis, some little sprinkly, I don't know, a little kind of a, more of a neutral, but it is a, it's probably rich raspberry. And then what's this fruit, you guys? I know that I've had this fruit. This isn't a watermelon. This is um, what we had in Thailand, and I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, who knows? I don't know. Papaya. You guys say the other one is papaya? Okay, I've never eaten a papaya in my life. I know. Does that? What does that say about me? I'm not very exotic, I guess. But I have eaten these in Thailand, so then maybe I am kind of exotic. I just don't know what the name is. Here's another polka dot. That's that cute navy with the strawberries and the blueberries. All right, I'm watching. I'm watching your comments. Who knows what that is called? Is it dragon fruit? Yes, dragon fruit. Anne said dragon fruit. Yes. I didn't eat. Well, did I eat it? Maybe I tried it. My husband was the one who was like, oh, yeah. And he just totally tore into all these weird exotic fruits. 
And I was like, where's the banana? I'll have a grape. I'm very basic when it comes to that kind of stuff. Okay, I'll stop talking. Let's get everything we need. The colors we're using are Lemon Lime Twist, Real Red, Early Espresso. Let me tell you about the calendars. I get lots of emails about these too. Um, I buy these from tailoredexpressions.com. It's um, a company that sells all kinds of paper craft stuff, um, but these are my favorite. I get them, I can't remember, I think they're 10 for $3. Um, and I get them by the hundreds. And uh, I like them because they're all white. Some of them have red on them and then it could clash with your project. So I really like the all white. If you look down on the project sheet, I do have that link right there. And if you just go to tailoredexpressions.com and click on supplies and then calendars, you'll find it. So you don't have to type in all that. All right, so there are the calendars. So let's get one of them out. Um, and then we're gonna use just basic, a uh, real red, okay? And it's just a basic card front. It's an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half on the at four and a fourth and then scored at five and a half. So it's just a card front. I wanted these to fit in envelopes, but then I also wanted it to sit on your desk and not, you know, like fall down like that. So I made just a little easel for the inside. And that is just a four by four piece of cardstock. And we're gonna score it at half two and three and a half. Now don't, you don't need to write it down, just go print out that um, project sheet. It's there on my blog and it has that information on it for you. All right, before we put that easel in, I do wanna go ahead and do the front of it. Let's do that first, okay? And then we'll, at the very end, we'll add that in. So let's do the little pears. They are so adorable and little and cute. And I'm gonna, this stamp set, let me grab my stamps has quite a few stamps in it. It says it has 25, and they're all mostly those little bitties. So you can see how tiny that heart is, and even the stem is even tinier. So you're gonna have to be careful not to lose your stamps, which I am known to do. I lose little tiny things because I'm always working quickly and trying to hurry and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So don't be like me. All right, so the pears are in Lemon Lime Twist. And I don't think we need that again, so I'll move that out of the way. The stem is Early Espresso. Oh yes, Anne-Marie's here now. I was just telling them, Anne-Marie, at the beginning that you were the one that helped make, make all these calendars and you're the one that put all these together. And yes, I think this is my favorite. She, whoops, I have the pineapple punch. I need the pear punch. Um, she wasn't liking me very much when she had to tie all those bows. But she did a great job. All right, so the little tiny punch, the little pear. These are perfect for our little mini dimensionals, which we're gonna use in a second. Now I chose the sentiment, you are the sweetest. You can see how my photopolymer stamps have turned pink. That just goes to show you how much I've used them. And I think that the problem with this is that my stamp cleaner pad is filthy. And so I just continue to, <laughs> to get it dirty when I clean it. But this happens a lot to your photopolymer. Don't be scared if it happens. Um, you know, if you're worried about that, then one way that I really like to clean my stamps is to run them in the sink under the water. It just cleans them off perfectly. Um, but it's, especially if you're using um, a red or a pink, it is gonna stain and that's okay. They still work. All right, the little tiny heart right there. It's so tiny. All right, now I am actually out of mini dimensionals. They're gonna be here probably while we're doing it. I told you I have a, a UPS order coming, but I found these from a kit that I had. I always save my extra adhesive and I have some tiny ones. So use your mini dimensionals here and stick them on. I kind of liked them leaning over to the side. Oh, well good, Anne-Marie, I'm glad it's your favorite because I, I was afraid you would hate it and me after you had to help me with all those calendars. It is a cute set. I really, really love it. And I, I can just, I'm thinking about a lot of 3D projects in the future I'm gonna do with it. All right, so there we have the stamping. Now we're going to use um, a framelit. Uh-oh, where did it go? I know I pulled it out. I may have to walk over and get it. Let me make sure. 
I'm using a framelit from, oh yeah, here it is. I knew I had it. I'm very organized today. Just don't know where anything is. <laughs> this is from the Seasonal Layers um, framelit. And I, I think I use this framelit every every time we do Facebook Friday. I think I use it every time. This and um, there's a, a snowflake and a leaf. It's just a really good seasonal to have through all four seasons really but I love a scallop border so this scallop border framelit is probably going to get used to death in my studio because it is just it gets a lot of exercise it's a lot of use all right so the measurements for these pieces are on that sheet did I already use my fast fuse why isn't it sitting here oh it's over here hold on I got all my adhesives except for the, the main one. Um, all the measurements for these papers are over on that, again, that project sheet. And it's right under, sometimes it's hard to see that link. It's right under the third photograph. And it'll say you can download the project sheets here. And then you click on that and it'll take you to a screen that has the PDF where you can print it. Looks like my papers were just a little bit too long for some reason. Maybe my card was a little too short. All right, so let's put this pattern. The thing I love about our, our stacks of paper is that they all coordinate. Let's see, how do I want that? Let's do that. No, let's go like that. They all coordinate. The greens in here are gonna match the greens in the other pieces, which is really nice. All right. When I made my calendars, I had to think of sentiments that could sit out on your desk all year. So you're just the sweetest. I thought that, okay, well that, everybody likes to hear that any time of the year. Let me see, what did I do on the pineapple? I think I did the same. Let's see, here we go. The little calendar, I just put adhesive right there on the back and it goes right underneath. Maybe a little bit lower. I think I need to put those pairs a little bit lower. Let's see if they'll pop up. Oh, good. All right, now, if you order with me by Monday night. I'm going to send you these make and takes. I've told you that, but I want you to know I'm going to send you the new ribbon, not this ombre ribbon. I want you to see the new ribbon. Um, I just ran out of it completely. I mean, I was literally going through my projects too, trying to find where I could take it off of projects and use it. That's how much I love it. We used it at my bingo night and I gave away some as a prize and suddenly I'm totally out. So, luckily, I can now get as many as I need because during pre-order, demonstrators can only get three of each consumable. And you would think that would be enough, wouldn't you? All right, so there you have it. Now, let's make the easel part so that it doesn't go like that on your desk all year because that would be annoying. So that was a four by four. We scored it at half an inch, two inches, and three and a half. I'm gonna score, I'm gonna fold the middle one down and then I'm gonna fold the outer ones up so that it's making this shape. You guys see that? Just making that shape. And we're gonna put adhesive on those tabs on the outside. Make sure you use Fast Fuse or, or your tear and tape here because this is a, a project that's gonna sit out for a year and you do not want that adhesive breaking down and falling apart Put, use fast fuse and tear and tape. Oh, did you see what I did? I'm talking. So it's there like that. And I folded it in like that. And then I'm going to lay this one down. You don't want um, it to fall apart while it's sitting out. And that's it. And see how cute it sits like that. You can see the easel if I turn it on the side. I love it. I love red and lemon lime twist. That's a good combo. All right. So you guys... Now you can make your own calendars. I hope you like that project. I have been wanting to show you and I feel like I've had to wait a while because I haven't done Facebook Live in a while. Okay, sorry, shaking the camera. Let me get this out of here. All right, so the next one. Oh, lots of hearts. Thanks, guys. Wow, that's nice. Okay, now the next project features my favorite bundle in the Occasions catalog, this cute little, um, soda what is it called bubble over with a the soda and the the you know the little 
<laughs> why can't I talk? The labels, all of that. And it looks like this. And it looks like this. And it's called Bubble Over. And I am going to have a class in February that uses this bundle. So if you want to get that class, just wait to order it until then. And I'm going to give you lots of cute ways. I'm working on some 3D ideas for this because I think it just, oh, I just, it lends itself to some fun stuff. Okay, so then the other thing that I want to point out to you that I'm using is this paper. And this paper is celebration paper. It's 12 by 12. It's one of the things you can get free with, with a $50 purchase. And it's got really those bright colors again that I like so much. Lemon Lime Twist, um, Daffodil Delight. The thing that I, I'm really liking about this paper is that there's a busy pattern on one side, and then there's that monochromatic, more simple pattern on the back. And I have been using these a lot, um, as you can see. I really like to keep cards simple with just two colors, maybe three. Uh, my mom, who is an artist, um, she kind of gave me um, some words of wisdom once about color and she said when you design a project you should have besides your neutral you should have a color that is like the the daddy the, the it takes up the most and then a color that's secondary so it's the mama and then a color that's the baby and it's just maybe a little dot of that color or a splash and so I try to think about that when I design to, to try to keep things simple so uh Daddy color would be a lot, it's big, it takes up most of your, your items, and a mama color would be secondary to that. And then the baby color would just be a tiny bit. Now this one, it really only has two colors besides the neutral, but you can see how the Calypso Coral would be the daddy color. It's taking up um, most of your eye, and then the Peekaboo Peach would be the secondary color. So anyway, I don't know how I got on that tangent. Here's more of the paper, the little bottles, the bubbles. There's the pattern that I'm using on this card. Um, this one I like a lot, these little bottle tops. We have the framelit. Oh, it's missing from here. I'm going to have to grab it. The framelit. Hmm. That's weird. I just had it. The framelit that, um, the bottle top, it, it um, we'll cut that out. I'm so distracted. I'm like, where is it? On the back side, a stripe, a little mini stripe. And another lemon lime monochromatic side. And on the back is, this one is uh, pretty much monochromatic too. It's got a little bit of lemon lime in it. Here's a big bold stripe. That's great for birthdays, don't you think? And then that one, ooh, I love the Bermuda Bay stars. Okay, so let's make this card. Um, the little straws are so cute. I love them. We're going to need to do some die cutting. Let me grab that bottle cap. I actually have two sets of this framelit. When I know I'm gonna use this set a bunch for classes, I end up buying two sets um, because then I can cut more at one time when I'm prepping class kits. So I have this, I'm just concerned. Did I lose my other bottle cap? That would be very upsetting. I do that a lot. I'm just moving too fast. Okay, so let's see what we need to cut out. It's not very much stamping, as you can see, it's just the sentiment. The bottle, is vellum and it's the large bottle so we're going to cut that out and then we have the label the little kind of looks like a dog tag let me see is this the right size yep it comes in two sizes one for the big bottle and one for the small bottle and then we need the bottle cap itself so we'll use this and the bottle cap I'm going to cut out a the little heart in the middle so I can lay this one down inside of it like that. Um, the straws, this, it actually has two straws, the two framelit straws, one going left and one going right, so we can cut those at the same time. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? Do, 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 do. I think I got it all. Okay, did I get it all? Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Got the straws. Okay. All right, I just want to do it all in one swoop. Let's see. Bring this big shot. I'm using the magnetic platform. It'll hold them all in place. Hopefully. Oh, nope. Look at that one. I just, this actually, you guys, I will tell you that it doesn't fit in there exactly like it should. And I think that's because they, well, yeah, it does. I don't know. Maybe they're not supposed to be cut together. But I did it, and it worked just fine. So we're going to do it again. 
All right, lots of popping going on. Don't worry, if your big shop makes that noise, that's totally normal. It usually freaks people out. Okay. So let's see, we've got our bottle. We've got our label. We've got, these kind of look like um, hockey sticks. <laughs> that would be fun to make a hockey a card with hockey sticks. There's one straw and the other straw. All right, and then our little bottle cap. I just love the bottle cap framelit the most. I hope I haven't lost it. Oh, that makes me upset. I'll have to dig around and see if I can find it because I'm going to need it. All right, now let's put this together. Let's put our little, little, um, bottle together and when you have vellum you have to be careful how you do your adhesive because you don't want it to show through so with with the bottle what I did is I put these down like this and then I got a dimensional and stuck it down there in the middle right over them because I know the middle is going to be covered up with a label here in a minute so let's see I'm going to put another one just for good measure right here all right, so then I can turn it over and you can see them. We don't want to see them, but that's okay. We're putting this label right here, the bottle label. Now, these bottles could be soda bottles. They could be beer bottles. They could be water bottles. I don't know, whatever you want them to be. Now, to make this white inside. I'm just going to punch a three quarter inch whisper white circle. Oops. Sorry. I have my, my phone plugged in while I'm doing this because I'm one of those lovely Apple customers whose battery no longer works very well after the update. Don't get me started on that. And it will not last through a Facebook live now. I know I can replace my battery, but Darn it, who has time for that? All right, so there we go. I just put that white circle on the back. And I'm gonna put this here, right in the center. And then here's some new twine that we have. I think they're just calling it silver twine, but it really is silver and white twine. And I find that these twines that have the little metallic thing running through them do this, this little curling deal. So, it's kind of a little bit harder to work with, but I have found if I cut the piece off and then tie it for whatever reason, it does a little bit better when I try to finagle it. Yeah, I'm still doing it, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna just have to mess with it and then stick it down. <laughs> While it's in position, stick it down, because that will hold it um, in the position that you want once you get that glue dot on there. And I'm just gonna put that right there. So that little um, silver adds a lot of cute little sparkle. All right, I feel a sneeze coming on you guys. It's there, it's coming. I don't know, I'm gonna try to hold back. I hope I don't sneeze. All right, Calypso Coral Card Base. Some of that fun Bubble and Fizz DSP. Who came up with that name? That is so cute. Four by five and a fourth. Yes, the measurements are on the product sheet over on my blog. And then a piece of um, Peekaboo Peach. Now, Peekaboo Peach is retiring at the end of May. I'm going to be very sad. I say that every year when some of our colors leave, but we don't have anything else like Peekaboo Peach. No light orange to replace it. So I don't know. That's going to be difficult to deal with. All right, a couple more dimensionals. Uh-oh. And again, oh, we already put the dimensionals on there. Yes, they're in the right place. I'll just peel that off. They're holding those straws on. And I'm going to put this up a little bit higher than I did last time because I thought last time it should have gone a little bit higher. All right. Last thing is a sentiment. And this sentiment, may your day bubble over with happiness. This, where is the stamp set? Where did I set it down? It's really got um, some cute sentiments in it. The one that says, your kindness is most refreshing. I thought that was clever. I wonder who comes up with these clever sayings at Stamping Up. All right, 
So I'm just gonna stamp this in Calypso Coral on a little piece of Whisper White. It says it's three fourths by two and three fourths. And then I'm just gonna put it right there. And there you go. An easy, fun card with not a lot of stamping. It's got quite a few framelits and layers, but not a lot of stamping. Uh, did I smear it? Nope, okay. Just like that. And there you have project number two. All right, I hope you guys like that. You know, before I switch over to our next project, let me just show you a few more samples that I have. Um, this one I was kind of casing something out of the catalog or something with this one. And I, I didn't love it, so that's why I made that one, and then I loved that one. But now that I look at it, I like this one too. There's that cute little sentiment. Um, here's another calendar that I did, one of my calendars that went out, and then I made a card version, version of it. See how I just kept that simple? And I used basic right here and smoky slate there. And there's that bottle cap right there um, with a star in the middle. This one is just a circle, but this one is the bottle cap. It's really cute. It's got some embossing on it. And then here's the one we did it on stage where I was freaking out saying, oh my gosh, I love this set so much, I can't wait. And there's the little cute epoxy stickers. All right, so there's project number two. Hope you guys like that one. Now the third one is for Valentine's Day. We've got Valentine's Day coming up very quickly. Um, <clears throat> let me get a drink real quick. Ooh, I just wonder if the allergies are getting to me. Excuse me. So I made this third make and take so that I can show you guys these new narrow note cards. They come in a pack. What did it say? There are 40 in here. That's a lot. But they come in a pack like this. And when I pulled them out, the first thing I thought about are the little Valentines that the kids make for school. I mean, that's kind of the size it is. And I just thought, that's so fun um, to make, you know, like little Valentines for your kids to take to school or um, even for you to just like give out to your friends and stuff if you want to do that. So we're going to make one of these and I wanted to also show you that it fits inside this box. This is the box, um, lots of love, is that what it's called? Lots of love framelits. It's with the, the Valentine suite. Um, and it's the this is how the box is intended to look. Well, guess what? These fit in here perfectly. So you could even make a little gift set of Valentine cards for somebody. I mean, hello, so smart, love it. All right, and, and it also holds candy. This is, um, I'm gonna do this, not this box, but I'm gonna do this box, a version of this box next week. So. Come back next week, two o'clock on Friday, and I will show you how to make that. Okay, so the paper. Let's talk about this paper. This is the Painted With Love, I think that's what it's called, Painted With Love Designer Series paper. And it's very interesting. I will tell you that it is interesting. Look how it's gold embossed. Um, and it's very busy. So I'm finding as I'm playing with it that really you can only use a little bit at a time or your project's gonna be busy. But what a punch, it packs. We're gonna just use a tiny bit of this pattern. This is my favorite. So one side is gold, one side is not gold. And it's, the colors are uh, Melon Mambo, or let me see if I can remember, Rich Razzleberry, Calypso Coral, I think and gold. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that's, wow. And I love this little polka dot. So cute. All right, let me flip through here so you guys can see the other ones. Here's another. Oh, no, I did that one. No, no, I didn't. There's that one again. That kind of reminds me of the 80s again, like that other paper we had a couple of years ago. It's like flashback to the 80s. And then the back kind of looks like a brick wall. I don't think it's supposed to be a brick wall, but that's what it looks like to me. So if you have this paper, or you're intimidated by this paper, which I think is gonna be part of the problem, tr don't try to mix too many patterns at once. I think if you pick one and work with it with just some solid cardstock colors, then you're gonna really like it. Um, when we start mixing all those patterns together, I think is when, doesn't this remind you of the 80s? That is so funny, that just reminds me, I don't know, of the Goldbergs, if you guys watch that show. That looks like something Bev would wear. So funny, but I do like it. So pretty, and that doesn't really look like Valentine's. You could use that for like a wedding or even summer. 
in there. And I do like that, that polka dot. I, I've been using that a lot too. Um, so try not to mix your patterns too much. I'm missing one, the one with the little flat, the little um, heart. Oh well, I've used it a ton. Okay, so that paper, don't be scared by it. It's beautiful. I, th I just think we have to use maybe one or two patterns at a time in order for it to make sense and not get, not overwhelm us. All right, so we're gonna make this little tiny note card to go in our little, the little box. Um, I am using this, I love this stamp set. This is when you turn the page after the Valentine Suite. It's just a heart set. And there are no framelits with it because it coordinates with the sweet and sassy framelits that we have already. Those are our heart framelits. And this one coordinates with the framelit in the, the Valentine Suite. So you don't need a second, you know, a separate Valentine um, heart framelit set for this. It'll uh, go with what we already have. So I really like it. I like all the different patterns. I'm using this for my stamp club projects um, this month. It's very cute. All right, so here's our card. So let's quickly make that card. Um, here's the paper. See, I just cut one piece of that paper and it's really pretty on its own. You don't need a whole lot of things to go with this paper because it, it's so really powerful on its own. So I'm gonna put that on the front and then I have cut a gold foil stitched circle with, this is the second smallest stitched circle in case you're wondering. In gold foil, we have a, a page in our catalog that has papers and it, this is in there. There's gold foil, silver foil, copper, oh, what am I missing? But there's a bunch of different foils. So this goes really well with this. All right, so we've got that. That's just the basic card. And now we're gonna stamp the polka dot heart, which is my favorite stamp, my favorite heart in this little set. And I will tell you that this, for some reason, well, the photopolymer, sometimes you need an extra pad when you stamp. If you've ever stamped a solid photopolymer stamp and not been able to get a full image, that's because there's no padding like we have on our rubber stamps. Here's a rubber stamp and you can see how there's padding in there, but these are just flat. So sometimes they don't have enough padding to get it to fill in all the way. So if you'll just take your piercing mat and put it under your stamped image, you'll get a perfect solid image. So this one, the other ones don't do that in the set, but for some reason I was having trouble with this one. As soon as I pull out my piercing mat, perfect. Now the other set I am using is Ancient. This is what I got in my starter kit eight years ago. It's Teeny Tiny Wishes. I have used it a million bazillion times. It's in the old clamshell container. How many of you have Teeny Tiny Wishes? It's, I mean, it's been in the catalog probably 10 years for as long as I've been a demonstrator and even before that because I saw it before I was a demonstrator. Um, it's a wonderful general sentiment set and I'm using the I Heart You. I even have it in wood because when I bought it there were no other options. So I'm going to stamp this in again Melon Mambo here on the Whisper White and then I'm going to cut them out. And here's the sweet and sassy heart that matches it. And this is from the Bunch of Banners framelits. I, I like this one a lot. It's little. And I tend to, I tend to uh, put all my words on banners. I try, try not to do it all like that, but I just love a banner. Oops, I smeared the ink. All right, well, we'll cut it out and then I'll stamp it on the back. We'll attempt. All right, my magnetic platform holds that perfectly in place. All right, let's get this one, pop that off, pop this off. I knew I was gonna smear that too. I could tell it was nice and juicy. Sometimes you gotta let those inks dry. I just re-inked that, that pad too, so it's nice and juicy. All right, let's see if I can get this straight on here. Do you think I can do it? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, not bad, all right, all right. All right, so let's put these on and see if I can not smear that one. So we're gonna put the heart right in the middle with a dimensional, of course. And before I put that on, I'm gonna tie the ribbon because I'm gonna give that just a second to dry. This is, what do we call this? The 1 8 inch gold ribbon in the annual catalog. 
I feel like I've been using it a lot lately with Christmas, and then now this Valentine paper has gold on it. All right, I'm going to just tie it. Whoops, come on, guys, behave. I'm going to tie it around the long crease of the card, and I'm going to put a bow at the top. This uh, ribbon is skinny and easy to tie, but it does flip a lot. But it's kind of, you just kind of need to let it do what it's going to do because it's hard to control, but it's still beautiful. All right, let's cut that off. Let's cut that off. And there we have the card. All right, let's see if I can put this. Do I have any more tiny dimensionals? Yes, I do. I'm surprised Mr. UPS has not arrived. I even locked the dogs up because I was expecting him to come ring the doorbell like he does. He always comes around 2.30, 2.15. All right, right in the middle. And there you go. Easy, right? Wouldn't that make a cute Valentine for a child like to give out at school? I think that's just super cute. But let's not forget the envelope. These have rounded uh, flaps. So let's put a circle of designer series paper in there. This is the two and a fourth circle punch. And I'm going to adhere it down a little bit below the adhesive, just below, right? Maybe a little bit higher, just like that. And then I'll fold it. It's thick, so you got to really fold it good. And then there you go. Now it looks like you have a lined envelope. All right, so let's put a few little, little hearts here. Did I do anything on the front? I was thinking I did. Yep, a few little hearts on the front, right there. And there you go. A cute little envelope and note card. 40 um, note cards and envelopes in one package. Let's see, I try to remember. I think it's $8 for 40. Let me look at my paper. Do, 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 do. $8, that's, that's really good for 40. All right, so there you have it, your third project. Next week, I think I'm gonna do all valentines don't don't hold me to it because i haven't done anything yet but that's what i want to do um so next friday two o'clock same time hopefully because you guys if you're going to order anything for valentine's day you're going to need to do it soon so that you have enough time to get all those cute projects made so here is the project sheets once again let's review i feel like i'm in the classroom let's review what we've done today we made a calendar we made a card and we made a mini card, all using new products. Um, remember, if you put an order in, a minimum $30 order by Monday night, I'm gonna send you these three make and takes for free. Uh, make sure you use that hostess code, which is right there. And most importantly, don't forget to hop over to my blog when you print these out, scroll down and enter for the hostess set. Oh, Trish, that makes me happy that you have a whole binder of my PDFs. Like, oh, wow, that's really neat. I hope you guys do like them. Um, they are time consuming, and I will, I will tell you, this is not my favorite part of my job, typing these up. But I know that you guys use them, and um, they are um, helpful. So it's worth it for me to do that for you guys. All right. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're warm. Stay warm and do some stamping, and I will see you again next Friday. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye-bye.